Hello everyone, I am Ivy B. Munoy. So now, I will be demonstrating the weight-bearing method of the foot in a lateral projection. Now, you need to position your patient in an upright position and let the patient stand on a stable, raised jewels and platform, for example, wooden blocks that matches the X-ray tube's lowest height. Now, have the patient stand in a natural position, one foot on each side of the image receptor with the weight of the body equal distributed on the feet. Now, the image receptor so that it is centered to the base of the third metatarsal, and the central ray should be perpendicular to the point just above the base of the, th of the third metatarsal. The resulting image should show a lateral medial projection of the bones of the foot with weight bearing. Now, the right and left side should be examined for comparison. This projection is used to demonstrate the structure status of the longitudinal arc. Next, I will demonstrate again the weight bearing method of the foot but in an AP axial projection. Position your patient in an upright or standing position. Now, your patient must have a lead shell that is placed across the abdomen for adjacent protection. Then, place the image receptor on the floor and have the patient stand on the image receptor with the feet centered on each side. You need to ensure that the right and left marker and upright marker are placed on the image receptor and ensure that the patient weight is distributed equally on each foot. Central ray should be 10 degrees to 15 degrees between the feet at the level of the base of metatarsal. Now, the resulting image should demonstrate a weight-bearing AP axial projection of both feet permitting an accurate evaluation in comparison of the tarsals and metatarsals. This method is used to show hallux valgus and less sprain injury. Next, I will now demonstrate the weight-bearing composite method of the foot and again in an AP axial projection. This method will need two exposures. At this point, place the patient in the in the standing upright position, the patient should stand at comfortable uh, height on a low stool or on the floor. Now, with the patient standing upright, adjust the IR under the foot and center it midline to the long axis. To prevent superimposition of the leg shadow on ankle joint, have the patient place the opposite foot on one step backward for the exposure of the forefoot and one step forward for the exposure of the hand foot. In the first exposure, the central ray should be 15 degrees posterior to the base of the third metatarsal. And on second exposure, the central ray should be 25 degrees anteriorly posterior surface on, of the ankle at the level of lateral malleolus.